discovery from the people who brought you X-Men, Ice Road Truckers, and the Deadliest Catch. Don't miss the latest Macho Guy TV show, Gulf Coast Shrimp Fisherman. We allowed to go out on the boats today? No, I oh yeah, ain't. Anybody got a deck of cards? Gulf Coast Shrimp Fishermen. They battle the elements and big oil idiots. Didn't they uh didn't didn't they say we could find some work cleaning up the oil spill today? I don't know. Nobody ever got back to us. Nice day though. Yeah, it is. Here. I stopped at Sonic. Every day brings a new <laughs> challenge. Lindsay Lohan finally made her way to that court hearing. <sighs> Looking sharp as she made her She way looks like she's feeling out a little. She does a little in the face. I you know see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and they never what the future well, you got any ideas? Well, my cousin's a manager of a Burger King up in Shreveport. I might be hiring. Gulf Coast Shrimp Fisherman. High-octane excitement at 5,000 gallons an hour. Tonight on Discovery Channel. Brought to you by BP. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. It's funny because it's true. It, it just is. It's just true. I mean, here's what we've been uh, going over. If you just get it, if you just got in your car now, uh, the president is going to do a press conference on Thursday. Ink it in, everybody. On Thursday. Why? I think because 51 uh, percent of America disapproves of the way he's handling the oil spill. Only two weeks ago, when I was spitting up a spleen trying to get the media to cover the oil spill, but nobody would. Only 33 percent of the United States. Uh, decided that they disapproved of the way he was handling the oil spill. All of a sudden, oily bird, oily brown pelican uh, might cause Louisiana a lot of money because they'll have to change the flags with the national bird, with the uh, state bird on it, from the pelican to the oily brown pelican, which, uh, you know, could cost money. But, uh, you know, he hasn't declared it a national disaster. This thing has, it's going to have a general, uh, a generational impact uh, on the Gulf Coast, on probably Florida as well. The Atlantic coast of Florida. The EPA has been completely ignored when it comes to Corexit, which is the dispersant that they keep. 700 gallons, almost a million gallons of this crap is being spewed into the ocean. And I did a little research on my own. It's not in the newspaper yet. I'm hoping it will be. That Corexit is uh, owned by an equity fund that is Goldman Sachs, Blackstone, and Apollo. And that one of the directors has been a BP board member for 11 years. 